when there are first time donors they are actually very anxious to come to the blood bank and donate so i'll just explain in very simple words how the blood donation occurs so once you come to the blood bank you are given a questionnaire that questionnaire has uh, multiple questions that you have to answer honestly once that is answered then the doctors in the blood bank they will uh, examine you a, a very brief physical examination is done like the pulse bp temperature are checked that you are fit on all these parameters and once this is done then the the most important criteria for you to donate blood is your hemoglobin level so the hemoglobin level should always be more than 12.5 irrespective of whether you are a male or a female now once you are passed on all these then the actual process of blood donation starts and uh, the staff in the blood bank will uh, open up a bag in which the uh, blood donation has to be taken place and in case you are 45 kg the weight criteria are 40 you should be 45 kg and above so once uh, uh, and for the components if a components are to be made from blood then your weight should be above 55 kg so between for, uh, 45 and 55 you can donate 350 ml while 55 and above will donate 450 ml so accordingly your blood is taken means the ml of blood is taken once the process is done which takes hardly means 5 to 7 minutes not more than that and once that process is done then the uh, the samples from the bag are taken for testing your viral markers and syphilis and malaria viral markers are the hiv hcv and uh, hbv and uh, the syphilis and malaria they are tested they are kept aside and the blood which is taken it's a whole blood so this whole blood is then divided into components you must have heard of the w, the uh, prbc that is the uh, red blood cells then the platelets platelets you must have heard so much during the dengue times then the uh, ffp the fresh frozen plasma plasma usage is the highest in case of transplants more in liver transplants and the cryoprecipitate cryoprecipitate is very very helpful in cases of uh, the uh, means uh, obstetrical hemorrhages where we need to replace the uh, fibro means fibrinogen in the patient so then it is divided into components and once these components are ready meanwhile the testing is done the testing is over and so your blood is then ready for usage now once the usage means that a uh, blood demand comes from either the wards icus or the ots and the pa the patient's blood comes along with and along with the patient's blood we match the blood with the respective blood groups which are there from the donors and then the after the cross matching the blood is then issued to the patients in the wards which are used in so many diseases like the anemia the thalassemia sickle cell anemia in onco patients surgical patients trauma patients gunshot injuries the list is endless and hence your blood is then used this way